There you can see it uh, in a moon pedal clear as day with a skateboarder logo. So it's like they've repackaged Joyo and put skateboarders and surfers on their on their pedals where Joyo would have had another picture on the same pedal. I can't tell you if the circuitry is identical. I imagine that it is. Anyway, this sort of reminds me of the Kayleen Time Space Echo Delay. This is the a moon digital delay. From your right to your left you have time repeat level. I'm using a Stag SEL P90BK. <laughs> custom PH1012 amp. I could stand here and tell you something real smart ass like like this sounds so digital compared to that analog delay I was testing out a minute ago or there for a second I was just I was testing out the Dan Electro Fab on its 600 millisecond set setting I was testing out the analog the Amun analog delay on its longest setting I think they're all maxing out around 600 milliseconds. String sound when I slid up the strings, I went wow, choo, choo, choo. Thank you. 
Just having a little fun there. I like this one, but I honestly, like I said, I could sit here and tell you, oh, this sounds more digital than the analog delay pedal. Well, the form factor is different. This is a bigger pedal. It's, well, I keep looking over at that Kayleen time-space delay. It's not the same size box. The knobs aren't arranged the same way, but it does have the same three knob interface, the same functionality that you'll find on a lot of delay pedals. Your basic delays, the three knobs will be your feedback, your level, and your time. So feedback in this case being repeat on this particular pedal. Anyhow, it's not the same as the Kayleen. It looks very similar. But I wouldn't be surprised if the, the delay range were very similar, if not identical. So I've tested out the Amun analog delay, the Amun digital delay. If space is a concern on your pedal board, the analog delay takes up probably about 50%, 53% of the space, maybe even less. It's, there's less depth, it's not as high. The knobs are smaller. They're in a triangle configuration on that. You can just check the other delay demo to see what I'm talking about instead of me going on and on about it but it's pretty much six of one half dozen of the other I really like both of these delay pedals to be honest I think I may be delay pedaled out I have a lot of delays but these amoons are both very good you can't go wrong from what I'm hearing. So I got three Amun pedals. I was wondering what they would be. I was hoping they would be, you know, the same as their Joyo counterparts. Or should I say apparent Joyo counterparts. And it appears to me as if, as though that may be the case. The vintage overdrive sounds great. I think it is a repackaged Joyo. And again, I think all these Amun pedals are perhaps two or three dollars cheaper than their Joyo counterparts. Anyway, I would have to consider that experience with Amun to be to have been a success. Like I said, DHL and the delivery arrived to be a DHL in four days from Hong Kong which is actually faster than some of the deliveries from UPS across the United States. So I don't know if they sent that in them by jet. I'm not even sure a freighter would make it here in four days going across the ocean. I don't know. We could do the math. Um, how wide is the Atlantic from Hong Kong to, say, Tacoma or Seattle? And then we would have nautical miles and then the nautical rating of the freighter. My guess is it flew in. Okay, blah, blah, yada, yada. This is a cool pedal.